What is going on guys? It's your boy Spoofy And what we're about to do now is we're about to see what would happen if the Cleveland Cavaliers actually traded Kyrie to one of his preferred destinations he Wants to go to the Knicks, the Heat, the Spurs, or the Timberwolves And right now we have the actual 2017 to 2018 season with the draft picks and all the trades and all that from that off season right now so basically we're about to just see what we can make happen honestly let me see the free agents i mean derrick rose is a free agent so i mean we probably could pick up derrick rose and we're gonna do two seasons because lebron's probably gonna leave so we're gonna just see how bad the Cavs get what i'm thinking about doing is Freeing up um, Kyrie and uh, LeBron James would actually free up a lot of cap space. So, I mean, probably in about two seasons, the Cavs could go somewhere again. But, I mean, we're just going to find out who can we get for Kyrie right now, honestly. And they will make up a trade. So, for the, let's see, the Heat, we can get Goran Dragic and Gaston Whiteside. And that's actually not bad for Kyrie. So, I mean, they could actually be pretty stacked with that. Uh, Gordon Dragic, Kassan Whiteside, and LeBron James for three years. For the Timberwolves, we could get Andrew Wiggins and Jamal Crawford with his draft pick. I don't really want to do that, honestly. So the Heat, I mean, I'm feeling like we should do this trade. I'm feeling like if anything, Cavs would do this trade for LeBron. Um, so we're gonna do this trade. We're, go, we're gonna go ahead and do this trade. So I would expect the lineup to be a little bit something like this Goran Dragic at the point position, LeBron James, Hassan Rideside, Kevin Love. That's a big fucking four right there, honestly. So that's actually not a bad lineup. And we're just gonna go to coach game plan. And we're gonna go to all teams and we're just going to do something like this rebuild the rotation and rebuild the rotation so it's going Georgia Kyle Corver LeBron James Kevin Love something like that I mean honestly I feel like they should trade uh Amon Shumper and see Osman let's see who could we they probably get I mean Amon Shumper is on a big ass dumbass contract honestly for no reason because he's some ass but i mean i feel like that's all they're really gonna do i don't feel like they're gonna make any major changes but i feel like we can free up a lot of cap space with this trade right here so if they wanted to trade off cap space they'd probably do something like that they might not but i mean that's just to pick up their growth if we still can pick up their growth if we can't oh we can't pick up their growth okay so I mean, we're going to pick up Derrick Rose, honestly, for a one-year contract and see he accepted the offer, edit the game plan, so we'll do rebuild location. Derrick Rose is the sixth man coming off the bench, and basically what we're going to do is we're just going to sim until the end, honestly, so and then we're just going to simulate through the date, so, so far, I mean, they're looking kind of bad, honestly, I mean, not that bad. They're three and three. I mean, they are playing in the East right now. So first off, I mean, first and first. Wow, LeBron, you're a sub. We're just gonna leave the rotation as is because really, you know, we're gonna automate that. I don't want. I don't care about scouting really. I mean, with this lineup, I mean, they're still looking pretty dominant, honestly. So LeBron might stay, but we're probably going to do a what if LeBron left too. Leave rotation as is. I mean, they're on a 13 game win streak. So if Kyrie went to the Heat, honestly, I feel like LeBron might be able to go back to the finals this year. But I mean, hey, who knows? You never know in the NBA. This offseason has been ridiculously crazy. And the fact is they're doing this good, 22 and eight. But wow, they're looking pretty dominant. They've been on a couple win streaks. They've been on like a 12 or five. So, um, I mean, wow. Honestly, guys, tell me in the comment section, who do you think that Kyrie should go to? And in general, do you think the Cavs are going to actually trade Kyrie? And if they do, Derrick Rose, you suck that's fun. So Derrick Rose is down, that's a six man. I mean, maybe that's the reason why we was winning because they had the six man coming off the bench. 
but we'll just see if they made the Kyrie Irving trade and trade Iman Shumper and that dude to free up cap space to get their growth. I mean, honestly, that wouldn't be that bad of a trade if you think about it. But it's February 4th right now and they're 35 and 14. That's a pretty dominant season, honestly. Well, like they're smashing teams as you can see 122 117 the Timberwolves did they face the heat? I don't even know if they faced the heat. I would love to know that score I mean the T-Wolves they lost bad because they got Jimmy Butler, Andrew Wiggins, Carl Anthony Towns So, you know already know I mean look at it. I want to see the Bulls can beat. I mean they smashed the Knicks They smashed my Bulls. So that's ridiculous like they're just going ham and they face the heat so let's see if they can pull off the w with the heat and they smash Kyrie over in the heat so that's wow honestly guys i feel like they should make this trade but then again it is honestly just a uh, my league 2k saying this is all make believe basically basically our own fantasy world because anything could happen in the world nba but with this season's trade so far, and especially in the East, the Cavs are being really dominant right now with the Hassan Whiteside and Goran Dragic and uh, LeBron James trade and Cal Corver playing the two guard with Kevin Love. So I mean, like, wow, wow, LeBron, Kyrie leaves and LeBron gets MVP. 24 points, 9.7 rebounds, 11 assists, almost averaging a triple-double. He went off. Like, he was really mad at Kyrie Irving. He was like, Kyrie Irving, you really going to leave me, bitch? You really going to leave me? Tyron Lou, 60 and 22. That's probably the best league. Like, wow, guys. Okay. We was first in the division and conference. And uh, maybe first overall in general, like, wow, LeBron went crazy. So we're just going to see if Cleveland can actually pull off, um, if they can actually get back to the finals. Okay, luckily got it. Okay. Oh, yikes. Wow. So obviously the Warriors is going to win again. That's like four straight for the Warriors if this happens. But like, Boston is honestly gonna go to the finals player stats. Let's see 24 16 16 14 Derrick Rose averaging double digits and his own white side. So wow, okay, okay Um, 8.2 assist 5.7 assist. Okay, that's not bad guys player stats for the season though Wow, Derrick Rose 14 16 16 13 24 11 8 5 league leaders so let's see point guards Kyrie Irving went off I mean 25 points a game 6.4 assists he's third Isaiah Thomas is going off shooting guards I mean I want to see team stats so damn it was the best team overall 60 and 22 112 points per game 42 point oh wow that's ridiculous okay um Average age 29, like they went off. Like look at this lineup, guys. Though, like this is literally like a big five coming off that bench. We got Goran Dragic, Wayne Ellington, LeBron James, Kevin Love, and Hassan Whiteside. That would honestly be a very good team. That's guys. I just can't stress how good this team actually was. Surprisingly, but we're gonna go to the off season. We're gonna skip everything. I don't know if we can pick up anybody honestly without LeBron being there I mean we might be able to so my free agency I mean we probably could we don't need him we do need a small forward of like wow guys okay so we're really gonna be struggling at the small forward position honestly so I feel like what we should do is we could probably trade not we could probably trade Hassan Whiteside for a better small forward, we're probably gonna have to go with Chris Middleton. Honestly, I feel like that would probably be the best possible decision. We're gonna go with Chris Middleton. And this is the second season. Let me just see if anybody actually picked up LeBron. Okay, finally somebody picked up LeBron. Where did LeBron? Oh, wow, he's on the Hawks. Well, Okay, he definitely wouldn't go there. Honestly, we're gonna go to April 28th and we're going to simulate the date 
And we're gonna see what would happen to the Cavs the second season. So the first season, they were a finals contender. I mean, they were close, so let's see without LeBron James, could they go back? I feel like they actually can't. I mean, they're starting to look pretty shitty now. So I feel like it would probably take two seasons for the Cavs to finally wear out and go back into rebuild mode. But I mean, right now, I mean, they're getting pretty close to being even right now in the East. So, I mean, we'll see. And we'll see if LeBron James can take any team to the playoffs. So, we'll see if the Atlantic Hawks make it back to the playoffs. They're 12 and 17 right now. About that. Uh, 13 and... Okay, 14, 15. Okay, okay. They're on a couple good win streaks right now. They're pretty even. They're like a couple games away from being in the playoffs but i feel like they're not gonna make it to the playoffs in the second year 2019 and i feel like that's gonna send them into a full rebuild and they're probably gonna trade everybody away for draft picks i feel like that's what they should do but that's probably not gonna happen so we'll just actually see what happens so right now it's just you know what's i mean this is probably the longest part oh, a couple games away from not being in the playoffs i should say Honestly, so they might make it back to the playoffs. I mean now they're not but I mean if they can get that eighth spot that eighth seed If they're actually gonna make a run to the second round, I don't think so. I feel like Predicting they're probably gonna get blown out for one So actually they didn't make it to the playoffs. Wow it's Actually crazy With all NBA first teams. Let's see Lonzo wasn't in here. I don't see Lonzo did Lonzo. Oh, okay our defensive second team Ah, it doesn't seem like the Hawks made it too, but wow, neither did the Celtics. I mean, the Cavs are going to be trash if they actually trade Kyrie Irving in two seasons. The first season, they had a chance, but they got beat in the conference finals. The second season, there was no work. I mean, they were like probably a couple games off, probably like seven, maybe eight. I'm not actually sure. That what would happen if you traded Kyrie Irving and then LeBron left. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm not sure how it went. If you did, please leave a like for more comment. Tell me what you want to see in the comment section. And guys, please share this video with your friends. Don't forget to hit that like button. Let's try to break about 30 likes. If this comment, if this video can break 30 likes, what we're going to do is we're going to do a Kyrie Irving um, Heat rebuild because we traded him to the Heat on here. So if we traded him to the Heat. We're going to see what would happen if we did, you know, a full rebuild for the Heat. And, yeah, guys, this has been your boy, Spoofy, and I'm out. Peace.